2018 Mercedes-Benz A-Class Saloon Review. The Good Points of Mercedes-Benz A-Class Saloon. Class Leading 2.0 Diesel Engine. Incredible Comfort and Noise Isolation. Stunning Decor and Finish. Genuine 5-Seat Accommodation. Futuristic Safety and Convenience Tech. The Bad Points of Mercedes-Benz A-Class Saloon. Some rivals are definitely more fun they are driving. No entry level petrol. Looks like cheaper class. Desirable equipment costs extra. The A class is among Mercedes Benz's most storied models. Robust, stylishly understated and practical, it's got traditionally been as liked by taxi drivers as owners, and over 13 million have already been sold over multiple generations. Watch. Mercedes-Benz A-Class Saloon 20092016 Review. New Mercedes-Benz A-Class Saloon Cars Available for Sale. Key Rivals Inside Class Add the Audi A6, BMW 5 Series and Jaguar XF. While the BMW and especially the Jaguar concentrate on driving enjoyment, the brand new A-Class plays the posh card, offering a degree of in cabin style and luxury not one other car from the sector can match. Larger than previously and packed with tech. Longer but lighter than its predecessor, the revolutionary class saloon carries a wheelbase stretched by 65mm to provide additional interior space. But the area where it outpaces competition is in interior style and quality. An optional 12.3-inch color screen replaces the original speedometer and rev counter with customizable digital displays and stretches almost to your other side from the dashboard. Not even this class limousine can match the A-Class's tech meets luxury ambience. A step much better autonomous driving. Mercedes is investing huge sums in autonomous driving technology and although a totally self-driven car bearing several pointed star remains to be years away, the A-Class takes us a step closer. Using the remote parking pilot, owners can certainly get beyond their car that could then park alone in response with a prompt from other smartphone. The A-Class also features the modern version of Mercedes Adaptive Cruise Control, a head unit that can have a safe distance between you along with the car before, right down to your stop, as well as steer between white lines at motorway speeds, though it requires some degree of input for the steering wheel every half a minute or so. Other innovations include seat bolsters that actively push you to your center in the car any time a side impact is imminent, steering that intervenes that will help you steer around obstacles to pull up quickly, along with a smart key trapped in your phone that replaces an old-fashioned key even if this technology is merely suitable for Android, instead of Apple phones. Wide Choice of Engines Launched in predicted biggest selling E220D guys alongside a powerful E350D now E400D, the A-Class Saloon range is growing to accommodate a less expensive diesel, a plug-in hybrid now discontinued and high-performance petrol versions. That means seven engines in whole but a lot of scope for buyers, if they want economy, performance, or perhaps a little of both. The Mercedes-AMG versions E53 and E63 offer serious performance along with the ability to deploy it in all of the conditions, since both feature 4MATIC all-wheel drive as standard. Choice of two core trim levels. Trim levels are on a say and sporty AMG line for that majority on the range. Same models include parking sensors, a reversing camera as well as the self-parking system, LED headlamps satellite navigation and autonomous braking. AMG line cars add 19-inch wheels and sportier interior and exterior styling tweaks including different bumpers, seats and dash inlays. Like its class brother, the ease handling is reassuringly stable. It's highly competent but rivals just like the Jaguar XF tend to be engaging drive an automobile. If you're searching for the most comfortable, refined car within the class, however, Look no further. Latest deals from Buayacar. Mercedes Benz E Class E220 Blue 8. 16,300 pounds. Or 231 pounds monthly. Mercedes Benz E Class E220 Blue 8. 18,480 pounds. Or 257 pounds every month. See all deals on Mercedes Benz E Class.
representative example, representative APR of 7.9% borrowing £10,509 over 48 months on HP type finance. The total amount payable could be £250 monthly, using a total cost of credit of £1,483 and also a total amount payable of £11,992. Dennis Buaya Car Limited, 3132 Alfred Place, London, WC1E7DPGB 0915105 is usually a credit broker regulated by FCA FRN 667368. The verdict. Practical and trendy, with access into a concise but wide array of engines, the Mercedes-Benz A-Class seems to offer a tiny amount of everything you could want within a buzziness class saloon. From economical hybrid and diesel variants towards the standout performance in the AMG E53 and E63 range toppers, one and only thing missing really can be a mainstream petrol engined car. It might do not have the outright drivability from the BMW 5 Series and also the restrained looks from the Audi A6, nevertheless, the A class gives a seriously strong balance of abilities. Watch the entire Mercedes-Benz A-Class saloon review to understand about the newest saloon in depth. Lots from which to choose, with diesel, hybrid and petrol. Impressive economy from the newest four-cylinder. Massive performance on the AMG cars. There's a broad choice of powertrains inside A-Class saloon, with diesel, plug-in ride and petrol all dealt with. Diesel engines. The bulk in the lineup goes toward diesel. Unsurprisingly, having a four-cylinder 2.0-liter motor that made its debut inside a class kicking things off. It's much smoother and quieter than its predecessor and easily obtainable in two states of tune, the 150-horsepower E200D and also the 194-horsepower E220D. Picking between your two is often a bit confusing as being the more powerful version provides same fuel economy minus 72.4 miles per gallon, despite being more than a second quicker from 062 miles per hour 7.3 weighed against 8.4 seconds. That's partly because the 220D packs 400 newton meters of torque towards the 200D's 360 newton meters. Although the more efficient car's 150 miles per hour top speed might sound academic in the evening speed limit free autobahns from the car's homeland, it hints that there's still strong overtaking performance at UK motorway speeds. You may have the E220D with 4 Matic Hal wheel drive, although expect sprint times and economy to fall, 7.5 seconds and 62.8 miles per gallon due to this model. For those wanting more power, there's an E350D powered with a 258 horsepower six cylinder engine. With a supplementary 64 horsepower on the E220D, plus two additional cylinders, it could possibly cover 062 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds and features a more relaxed character on account of 620 newton meters of torque in the expense with the E220D's superbly low running costs. Expect 51.4 miles per gallon. Petrol engines. An odd mix here of the fuel sipping plug in hybrid and also the fire breathing Mercedes AMG models. Let's handle the E350A first, a four cylinder motor assisted by power supply. This can sprint from 062 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds yet still promises 134.5 miles per gallon. We think it's unlikely you'll see this figure but sub-50 GKM of CO2 can make it an attractive option for company car drivers. It offers potent performance 286 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. At the opposite end on the A-Class spectrum include the Mercedes-AMG E43 and E63 performance models, powered by the V6 and V8 engine respectively. The E43 packs 401 horsepower and 520 newton meters of torque for just a 062 miles per hour period of 4.6 seconds. It makes an excellent, if slightly synthetic, noise brimming with six cylinder howl on the top end and menacing burble on the bottom. It's a terrific mix of performance and everyday usability, offering great performance when you need it plus the ability to make carefree, wafty progress if you don't. 
its fuel economy isn't much over V8 car though, with 33.6 miles per gallon available. The top AMG class can be purchased in two variants, the standard E63 plus the E63 ES. The normal E63 offers up a rather bonkers 571 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque, racing from 062 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. Upgrade towards the E63 as the ones figure climb to 612 horsepower and 850 newton meters, meaning serious muscle for those who choose to deploy it. This car shaves a tenth over E63's 062 miles per hour and provides identical fuel economy of 31 miles per gallon. Characterful doesn't quite cover the barrel-chested V8 squeezed into the engine bay. It's not one of the most tuneful noise from the world nonetheless it's certainly loud and exciting to hear. Despite packing a couple of turbos the E63S offers razor-sharp throttle response and little or no lag if you press the throttle pedal. The super-quick 9-speed automatic gearbox helps here, which carries a spooky capability to be from the right gear always. Our engine choice. Of these we'd choose the E220D for the incredible mixture of strong performance, excellent refinement and low purchase and running costs. But remember that the 102G KMC 02 figure only is applicable to cars while using smallest available wheels. Stepping up from 17 inch to 20 inch diameter alloys adds 10G KM for the CO2 output. A good steer but better handling rivals available. High grip from tow wheel drive. More from Formatic. AMG cars really are a real blast over a twisty road. The new e class is incredibly competent inside the corners, but just like the class, its priorities are skewed more towards comfort than handling. A Jaguar XF is a bit more fun to push. The steering is precise, feels pleasingly light at parking speeds, and weights up nicely the faster you're going, however, it never really says to you much in what the front tires are nearly. The E200D and E220D come as standard with conventional coil springs but air springs a technology normally only available on high-end luxury cars can be purchased as an option, and are also standard on higher spec versions. Toggling from the drive mode selector within the console changes the stiffness with the air springs. If you need to get anywhere remotely quickly you should engage sport mode to remove unwelcome body roll. The tow wheel drive model's traction is fantastic and this is improved to all wheel drive for mana cars. Mercedes AMG models noticeably sharper. For the best in a class handling you'll want either in the AMG prepared cars, the E43 and E63. The former sits halfway relating to the standard car along with the V8 Super Saloon and consequently its handling can seem to be a little confused. While the steering can be quite reactive it doesn't offer much within the way of communication, and within the softer driving modes there remains to be a degree of body roll to deal with. The formatic all-wheel drive system also favors understeer once the limits of grip are reached. The E63 however is much less of the compromise, with quick and accurate steering and flat handling even though pushed hard. Its all-wheel drive system feels far more rear-wheel biased that has a balanced feel in corners then slips in control or below oversteer when pushed. This model also comes with a controversial drift mode which sends more power to your rear wheels for massive slides when conditions allow. Really you would like to save this to get a controlled, off-road environment, the location where the consequences to get it wrong can be taken off, at least mitigated. Regardless. The E63 can be a seriously impressive car even on narrow twisting roads. At times during our try it felt just like a much smaller and lighter C63, because of the agility and turn and ability of your sports car, rather than Nartwetan Saloon. Massive full-width digital dashboard impresses. Styling and quality is more detailed class than C. Multicolor ambient lighting looks great at nighttime. The E-Class blows the opposition out in the water with regards to interior style, borrowing heavily looking at this class our government, plus some areas, actually bettering it. The build quality is great nearer to that of its class compared to the class below it. The Bentley-like organ stop heater vents add to your sense of luxury. 
Standard cars feature two traditional style instruments plus an iPad-like yet not touch-operated multimedia screen around the top and the dash. For maximum wow you should choose the optional dual screen setup, which actually seems like one hugely long screen stretching from your driver's side almost on the passengers. Mercedes doesn't believe touchscreens are secure so has added a tiny thumb control on the tire spoke that may help you operate the multimedia functions. It's hard to operate in the beginning, but feels natural as time passes. Every E-Class comes with an automatic gearbox controlled by an indicator-like column stock along with an electric handbrake that releases useful storage room inside center console. Gray tried on standard springs. Air suspension is luxurious. AMG cars feel purposefully firm. If you're trying to find the most relaxing big saloon for the market, look no further. No other car inside class can match the newest Mercedes-Benz class for comfort and refinement. Whether you're idling at traffic lights or pounding the motorway, engine, tire and wind noise are impressively hushed. Ride comfort is excellent in every versions. However the air spring suspension standard on high spec classes, optional on others includes a clear advantage here, isolating occupants from smaller frequency bumps that could well be felt together with the standard coil springs. Optional adaptive dampers help smooth the ride on cars minus the air suspension. Changing the drive mode selector around the console from comfort to sport or sport plus tightens the handling in the expense of comfort. The front seats are incredibly comfortable, and provided by both VAC functions. The rear bench includes a flat middle section meaning the automobile can be used to be a five-seater if required. Mercedes-AMG Ride Comfort Both E43 and E63 models include air suspension but don't expect exactly the same waft to ride as you get inside normal E class. The AMG cars use a special performance create and that means a purposeful firmness that you'll notice most on lumpy roads. The six-cylinder car is quite easy to deal with while the complete fat E63 is less cushy even its least aggressive drive mode, and sharpened up in sport plus it feels quite hard indeed. On undulating back roads the E63 S it really feels faster in sport or normal mode. The softer suspension allowing your vehicle to flow better within the cracked tarmac. Only two main trims available. Two big options packs with plenty of kit. Host of AMG performance models too. There are merely two trim levels to contend with from the corner class saloon range, say and AMG line. As ever with premium German saloons, you've also got a raft of optional extras available to personalize your car or truck. Standard Mercedes-Benz class saloon equipment. All versions from say specification get. Parking sensors. Reversing camera. Active braking assist protects against rear end collisions by alerting the trucker if traveling too close for the car right in front and prepares the brakes accordingly. Three spoke multi-function tire with controls for your infotainment system. 17 or 18 inch wheels based on engine electrically folding door mirrors, automatic lights and wipers, LED headlights, cruise control, dynamic select driver profile system, DAB radio, Satanov, heated front leather seats, keyless ignition. On the surface of that, E350D and E350E same models enjoy air suspension, the 12.3 inch infotainment screen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connectivity along with a touchpad to manage the infotainment. What will you get within the AMG line? AMG body kit and floor mats. 19-inch alloys. AMG leader. False leather. Fabrica upholstery. Electrically adjustable seats. Styling upgrades. Black open pour wood trim. Black roof liner. Contrast stitching. Stainless steel sports pedals. Mercedes AMG E43 and E63. Sitting higher than the standard variety of cars are a set of Mercedes AMG versions, called E43 and E63. The former is really a bit of an halfway house between mainstream car and also the full fat V8 version, and therefore comes with an awful lot of extra sports styling. This E43 includes. 19-inch alloys. Unique AMG body kit. 
spoiler along with a louder exhaust, air suspension which has a performance tune, fake leather dashboard, red seat belts. Going the entire E63 Hog isn't a significant simple mainly because it sounds, with there being actually three versions available. The standard car if you're able to call it that is distinguished externally by its 19-inch alloys and wide-body AMG body kit, including some purposefully flared front wheel arches. You buy electrically adjustable front sports seats, steering column and exterior mirror with memory function. Command online system with 12.3-inch display plus a flat-bottomed wheel. Mechanical limited slip differential for the rear axle to boost grip. Performance 9-speed automatic gearbox with launch control. Cylinder shut-off technology that can help improve fuel economy. Next up may be the faster E63S which packs more power along with some Larry styling upgrades to make certain everyone knows what you've got within the bonnet. What accessories would you get inside the E63S? 20-inch alloys. Red brake calipers. Grippier bucket seats. AMG track pace telemetry system. Dynamic engine mounts. Electronically controlled limited slip differential. Finally there's the limited run E63S edition 1 which retains the previous car's performance but adds different 20-inch alloys and lots of look at and bodywork stripes and shiny black trim. Tech highlights include Keyless Go Adaptive LED headlights with high beam assist Panoramic glass sunroof Burmester multi-channel audio system Yellow Edition 1 interior trim Optional Mercedes-Benz A-Class saloon accessories A lot on the optional extras to be had are arranged in packages, the belongings in which are outlined below. Premium pack, keyless entry and ignition, memory function for front seats panoramic glass sunroof. Premium plus pack, as above, however with Burmester surround sound system and intelligent cornering LED headlights. Lane tracking pack, blind spot assist warns of any vehicle as part of your blind spot and active land keeping assist, which uses the brakes to avoid you drifting through your lane. Driving assistance plus pack, suite of systems for making driving easier and safer including automatic braking evasive automatic steering, active land keeping assist and blind spot assist as well as collision prevention technology if your vehicle senses an impending impact. Other possibilities open include a 360 degree camera, tow bar, a variety of paint and wheel finishes, fragranced air conditioning, power closing for doors and bootled, heated rear seats, a variety of hi-fi upgrades plus a head-up display. Mercedes-Benz A-Class incorporates a 5-star Euro and cap rating. Loads of ordinary safety kit plus options available. Space age tech mean the A-Class is nearly autonomous. Safety is often a cornerstone with the Mercedes-Benz brand, so it'll come as not surprising to find the A-Class saloon packed on the gunnels with kit and keep you, your passengers, pedestrians and also other road users safe as well to be a coveted 5 a star your own cap rating. You've got airbags everywhere in the cabin, a bonnet that rises from the event of an pedestrian collision, a fatigue detection system, cruise control, ice fix child seat lashing points, back and front parking sensors, tire repressure monitoring and collision assistance features like brake preparation appears to be impact is detected. Another interesting technique is press F sound which plays a frequency throughout the speaker system to avoid damage to ears within the event of any sort of accident. Optional a class saloon safety kit. This is in which the real technological wizardry is available in. There's plenty of additional equipment you may pack onto your class to further improve safety. You can contain the lane tracking package, with a blind spot assist system warns of vehicles with your blind spot along with an active land keeping assist system that'll steer you directly into your lane if the automobile thinks you're drifting out. The driving assistance plus pack is just about the biggest news here. It incorporates a raft of features that can together to effectively make autonomous driving possible. This means automatic emergency braking together with evasive steering assist a characteristic that'll help the driving force deer the automobile away from objects and dangerous situations. There's even a method for moving front seat occupants away on the sides in the car within the event of a major accident. 
true five-seater with space for tall adults. Massive boot to stash luggage in likewise. Futuristic remote parking is really a great gadget. The Mercedes-Benz A-Class saloon is 43mm more than its predecessor and there's an added 65mm between front and back wheels. That means cabin space is extended, which experts claim means more room around. The rear seats certainly are a welcome proposition even for taller adults, although very tall passengers may wish to avoid the center seat due on the tall transmission tunnel running through it. The Mercedes-Benz A-Class hides its size well due to its sweeping lines but it really is still pushing 5 meters in size, which suggests some parking spaces may feel slightly short. Still, it's very easy to see outside of a maneuver so providing you've got the surrounding, it'll become a Donald to park. A very clever optional feature that dramatically boosts this car's practicality would be the remote parking pilot that may get cars into and beyond parking spaces remotely by way of a smartphone application. That means you are able to squeeze the vehicle into spots without worrying about having to get involved and out from the doors, making smaller spaces plausible. The Mercedes-Benz A-Class saloon has changed into a bit of any big boot champion especially in a state form so there's hardly surprising with this model's capacity, 540 liters. Team that has a wide and square opening this may cause the Merc an exceptionally practical car along with the perfect companion for weekends away or trips on the golf course. There is usually a penalty of approximately 140 liters of space for picking the hybrid version because its batteries are located in the boot floor, and occupy a fair amount of space.